Whoa, 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 whoa. What's up, people? We are back with more Pokemon Hard Gold as our Quilava Hedgy Dog is just jumping out of excitement because today is the day we're gonna challenge the Violet City Pokemon Gym, whose leader is named Faulkner, the elegant master of flying Pokemon. So, we do not really have a weakness uh, or a strong Pokemon against flying types in particular, but holy crap! Wasn't expecting that. But Arquilava should be able to just stroll through this very, very quickly, hopefully. I can't believe how ridiculously high this is, but from up here, you can tell what it feels like to be a bird Pokemon. Let me see if you're good enough to face Faulkner. I gotta say, it's pretty terrifying to be up here, there, especially for someone that has like a, 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 a fear of heights, which I sort of kind of do. I mean, last time when I was with my girlfriend in the... Uh, What's the the merry-go-round? Not the merry-go-round, that's not the one that's, that goes really really high. Ferris wheel, that's what it's called. When I was up there, I was like, holy crap, this is really freaking high. And when you look down, you kind of get more... Not necessarily scared, but just really uneasy because it's so high up. But after a while, that just passed away and then I got a little bit more comfortable. But it's I still feel really really uneasy when I'm at really high heights. But then again, who doesn't, right? I guess some people just don't, aren't really bothered by that at all. But I, I feel like a majority of the people at least get some sort of butterflies in their stomach when they feel like they're at such a high height, especially when you're looking down. Oh god, I just, uh, I cannot take it. But it seems to pass after a while, so that's. I just have to overcome my fear, but we're gonna fight Bird Keeper Rod. Who has a Pidgey? Just just has one one Pidgey. See this guy knows how's it how's how it's done. Instead of having three level three Pidgeys, he just has one level seven Pidgey. Bam! Too bad it's just gonna get roasted. Oh yeah. Pidgey Dog we just level 16. He's a beast! Never mind, I spoke too soon. I thought this guy only had one Pokemon. He has two Pidgeys. Of course. Of course I had to jinx it. But his Pidgey goes down as well. What did he have around his arm? Like a cast? Oh, it's time to fight Faulkner! I'm Faulkner, the Violet City Pokemon Gym Leader. People say you can clip flying type Pokemon's wings with a jolt of electricity. I won't allow such insults to bird Pokemon. I'll show you the real power of the magnificent bird Pokemon. Don't worry, I don't have uh, electric Pokemons. Electric. Right, Faulkner, he has two Pokemons. A Pidgey, of course, level 9. He's gonna ember that. Whoosh! Down it flames, it almost goes. Ah, oh, the sand! Actually, that's one of the worst things ever. As a kid, I used to play in the sand quite a bit, and one time I got sand in my eyes, and it's just. Holy crap, it just burns so much, and it feels so uncomfortable, of course. I mean, I was still a little boy back then, of course. Holy crap, he has a Pidgeotto! The wind is finally with us! Level 13, dang! Pidgey was probably the first ever Pokemon that I caught if I remember correctly. <laughs> so this brings back some good old memories. We can still fly! Oh yeah, you didn't use any flying attacks. <gasps> the Ember Mists! Oh crap, Roosts! That's gonna heal him back up. That's almost as bad as a potion. Wow, we missed two embers in a row. Bam! Alright, that ember's gonna hit. It's gonna roost again. This is one long drawn out battle. Mo mainly due to the fact that I missed ember now three times. I might have to uh, use a potion very soon because perhaps if he crits or something then we're in deep trouble. Am I gonna risk it? Cause it's gonna take two attacks from us. I'm gonna risk it. Alright, one ember. Yes! 
Alright, that was enough, luckily. That's kind of a big risk, but... We defeated Leader Faulkner! I understand! I'll bow out gracefully. For pity's sake! My dad's cherished bird Pokemon! But a defeat is a defeat. Alright, take this official Pokemon League badge. This one is the Zephyr badge. Oh yeah, give me that Zephyr badge. I'm gonna put it in... Do I already have a, like a badge case? With that badge, Pokemon including traded Pokemon up to level 20 will obey you without question. It also enables you to use the hidden move Rock Smash anytime outside of battle. Oh, we obtained TM51. By using, T, uh, using a TM, a Pokemon will instantly learn a new move. Think before you act. TM can only be used once. Uh oh, so unlike Pokemon White and White 2, I think. I'm not even sure if it's in White, but it's definitely in White 2 because that's what we played before. You can use one TM multiple times, whereas here, it, it, if you use the TM, it's gone, basically. So you can find the TM multiple times or find or buy a TM multiple times and after one usage, it's just it gets removed out of the inventory. So this is kind of more of the old school style, of course. There are Pokemon gyms in cities and towns ahead. Make sure, uh, make good use of them. As for your next move, I would suggest Azalea Town. All right, I'm gonna head on over to Azalea Town next. Bring me back down, Scotty. Cause we don't want to get beamed up, you know. <gasps> Who's calling me? Hello, Luda? We've discovered something. The details are, well, I can't really say anything, but we want you to carry that egg. My assistant is at the Pokemart in Violet City. Could you go meet him and pick up that egg? Click. Right. I'll be the egg caretaker. So the Pokemart, that's right here. Where is he? Is, is this the guy? Long time no see, Luda. I've been waiting for you. This is from Professor Elm. Uh, the thing is, we would like you to take care of an egg. Okay. Oh yeah, give me that egg. Eggy egg egg. After you left, Professor Elm received a phone call. I have no idea what they were talking about. But after a while, Professor Elm suddenly cried out, I can't think of anyone more suited than Luda. Then he insisted that I hand this egg to you. Wow. That's how I came here to deliver the egg to you. Thank you for this glorious egg. It seems that a Pokemon will hatch from it only when you keep it in your party of Pokemon. That's another reason we've chosen you, Luda. Please take care of it. Of course I will. I mean, obviously we all know what Pokemon this is going to be, right? Oh, who's that kimono woman? Mioma! That egg must be... I see. So it was handed from Mr. Pokemon to Professor Elm, then from Professor Elm to you. Now I get it. Yeah, I'm a s important person. That egg is truly an important egg. Wow, really? <laughs> She's emphasizing the egg, not the fact that I get it, that I'm an important person. No, the egg is important. Please do take good care of it for me. Is that understood? For her? Is that hers? Why did she spin around like she did a 360 no scope? I am counting on you. Okay. So she found the egg, presumably. Because why else would a random woman just wait? Uh, do I have to heal? No. Alright, Route 36. An odd tree is blocking the way to Ecritic City. It's preventing me from shopping. Something should be done about it. Yo! Haven't you had trouble with the boulder blocking your way? Of course you have! For people like you, there's an HM that will come to your rescue. HM06, oh yeah, that's Rock Smash. It contains Make em Fame Rock Smash. You can even use them to smash boulders once you've earned the Violet City Gym Badge. But beware, hidden moves like this are hard for your Pokemon to forget once they've learned them. You, th you should think carefully which Pokemon should learn it. Alright. So this is the the tree that's stuck there it's doing like a victory dance like yeah can't touch me oh I ain't moving I'm gonna be in people's way 
So we obviously know what that is going to be as well. Should I say it? Of course I should say it. That's going to be a pseudo wudo. And our egg is eventually going to be a togepi, of course. Ruins of Alf. Visitors who are interested in archaeology are welcome. Not interested. Bye bye. I'm out of here. Okay, maybe we should visit a little bit. Ruin Research Center? This is a mysterious hall. Please watch your step. Please watch your step. That's what they always say uh, on the. Um, when I was on the. Uh, at the airplane? Not the airplane. We're, we're airport. There we go. This place has a mystical quality to it. Or a hi historic quality. Or an eerie quality. Or an ancient quality. Or a solemn quality. I get it. It has a lot of qualities. Frosty. In essence, it's sort of. It feels sort of ethereal. Woman, do you have a. Are you just reading random words from a dictionary? Because. Holy crap. So all these statues. Alright. Please don't be the same as that woman. This is a big room, but there's nothing here. See, that's more like it. That's the kind of people that I like. Just quick, simple, straight to the point. Alright, so this is just filled with statues. Very interesting. We can still go down here, but I'm assuming it's pretty much the same here. The ruins have not robbed, nor been tampered with. No graffiti either. Yeah, that's a surprise in this day and age, isn't it? Things are very well preserved. Something here must make people feel they should preserve it. Of course, because it feels so ethereal, right woman? We have to preserve the etherealism of this place. We cannot, cannot let some stupid kids ruin it. Alright. Well, the ruins of Elf... Oh, don't go back down. Are pretty much untouched and I feel like it's something that is uh, gonna come up later it's not necessarily important yet at this point so we're just gonna skip that really really quickly on to the next route route 32 east entrance no 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 we're not going back there where's this going south of Azalea town wait up what's the hurry you have some good Pokemon there it must be from a training you gave them around Violet City. The training at the gym must have been especially helpful. As a souvenir of Violet City, take this. It increases the power of grass type moves. I don't have a grass Pokemon. If only I picked Chikorita. What is actually up here? This is back to Violet City? Apricorn tree, oh yeah. Yellow apricorn, apricorn, apricorn. The word has lost. What? Really? You could just go down here? Oh my god. I look, took such a... I took the long route rather than a shortcut. Oh yeah. Challenge me, trainer. I haven't seen you around before. So you think you're pretty tough, eh? I am really tough. I'm the toughest SOB. Oh, it's just a little boy. I'm the toughest little boy you'll ever see. I'm a mama's boy though. No, I'm not. Alright, let's roast this Rattata. Dang, our Hedgy Dog is so high level. Level 17 now. Dun -dun -dun -dun. Oh, Zubat. So this is one of the Pokemons that I was considering as well. To catch a Zubat. Even though it is one of the most infuriating Pokemons to meet in caves and that sort of stuff. Especially in the earlier versions. But... In this version, you can actually get Crobat, which is insane. Because that, out of all, I, I don't like Zubat, I don't like Golbat, but Crobat is just freaking awesome. And it looks so slick. I don't know, it just looks so awesome in comparison to the other one. Zubat and, e and Golbat looks kind of simplistic, but Crobat just looks so badass. Oh, Repel. Gonna need a bunch of those later on. Uh huh, yeah. And you know, pardon? Pokemon battle? I'm on the phone. All right, I'll accept your challenge. <laughs> she was, uh, I was surprised when I walked past her that she wasn't challenging me, but she was w looking at the wall, so 
she was having some sort of secret conversation with her boyfriend. So I kind of had to interrupt it and, and, you know, challenge her. Nidoran. This is the female one. Bam. I mean, I am realizing why my uh, Hedgy Dog is so high level because I don't have two Pokemons. So the experience all goes to Arculava rather than split between two Pokemons. Oh, you're on a big journey to see the sights. Neat. Let's be friends. Oh yeah, you want you want my phone number, girl? Oh, so it's not that serious with your boyfriend, eh? You can call me anytime. I'll telephone if I hear anything interesting. Oh, another trainer. There seems to be multiple paths everywhere I go, so I'm always scared that I'm gonna miss stuff. That glance, it's intriguing. Oh yeah, I stare right through you. Camper Roland as a male Nidoran. This is probably the boyfriend, because it's so it's such a couple thing, isn't it? The guy gets a male Nidoran, the, the, the girlfriend gets a female Nidoran, and they're both campers or whatever. Swiggity Spooty, I'm coming for your girlfriend! I'm gonna steal it from him. Bam! <laughs> Camper Roland. I should have just told him that his girlfriend gave me her number. Then he'd be all like, what? <laughs> she did what? And then she's gonna be all disappointed. Reap! Oh yes! Okay, here we go. This is the one Pokemon that I want. I'm gonna tackle it. Hopefully not one hit KO it. Please don't one hit K- No! critical hit and we get paralyzed yeah good job Marie it punished us for one hit KOing it I really wanted a Marie oh here's the second Marie right so tackle one hit KO'd it but it was a critical hit so I'm kind of hoping that if we don't crit with a tackle that it won't be a one hit KO Especially now that I use Growl as well, dang it. So first we miss, then we get paralyzed. Another Growl, okay, excellent. Keep lowering our attack, I don't even mind that much. I just wanted to take a little bit of damage. Okay, that's less than, way less than I had expected, considering it wouldn't KO it before. But I believe we can fit in one more because of all the Growls anyway. Our tackle does so little damage. Oh, paralyzed? All this Marie does is just growl. Why does this shit always freaking happen to me? Oh my god. Alright, we're gonna have to look for another one. Yes, alright. The third Marie. I always get too freaking greedy. Like, honestly. I was like, yeah, we can fit one more tackle in there. Bam. Critical hit. You know what? I'm just gonna attack it once. I don't know why this is so difficult for me. I could have just thrown a Pokemon Pokeball immediately, right? And because of the level discrepancy, we would probably catch it regardless, and because it's so low leveled as well. But I'm greedy. Alright. It should be low enough right now. Let's use a Pokeball on it. Be mine, Mareep! I need a pillow to sleep on at night! Oh yes! I caught myself a fluffy pillow! We caught ourselves a reepy reep, reepy reep. Oh yeah, look at that badass. Well, it's not really badass right now. If statically electric build, uh, if static electricity builds in its body, its fleece doubles in volume. Touching it will shock you. Except the owner, right? That's how it worked with Pikachu. It doesn't shock the owner. Alright, let's let's call it the uh, I know the, the evolution of this is called uh Flaffy or Flaffy, but I'm gonna call it Fluffy. Cause that's just what it is. It, this just looks like a huge fluff ball. Damn it, I should have called it fluff ball! 
my next trainer. I'm re immediately regretting my decision. I should have called it Fluffball. Alright, this guy has a level 10 Wooper. Um, I don't think Ember is going to do much considering Wooper is a water Pokemon. So we're just going to have to do this with quick attacks. Mud Sport. I kind of want Mareep to get some levels though. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna risk it. Even though he might just Wooper is gonna be like, oh, you give me your cute little Fluffy. Well, I'm gonna use Water Gun exactly. And down goes Fluffy. <laughs> That's what I get for trying to share the love. Egg, get out there! No, Eggy Egg can't battle. Poor Egg. All right, let's tackle. Of course we get paralyzed. Another mud shot, we're covered in mud right now, which isn't that bad. Never mind. I want to say which isn't that bad because it's good for your skin, you know? But then BAM! 10 HP and then... Okay. Mud is kind of bad. Dun dun dun. Shucks! I thought I could win. I don't know how far Azalea Town is. Okay, here it is. No, it is just a Pokemon Center. Oh, thank god we needed this so much but yeah we're gonna end the video here it seems like azalea town is still quite a distance away so we're gonna end this here thank you very much for watching please like and subscribe for more and i'll see you in the next video peace